Hi everybody, this is Angela from Mommy PR, and I am doing a video review on the Keurig Revo. Uh, Keurig sent this to me to try out, and I was extremely impressed, so I figured why not show you in video form what this thing actually does. So, I have it set up a little bit already, but here is the on button, and you'll see it makes a sound, lights start flashing. <coughs> So right here, we pull this down, and we're going to set our cup on it, and I have espresso decaf, and also I have um, a medium roast. These cups are a little bit different from the other Keurig. You'll see that they are smaller, more compact. And it goes right up here in this hole. So see how those little spikes? You're going to get a lot more out of this little cup. So we put it in there. And pull this down. And right about here, you'll start feeling it get a little hard to push. And you have to really kind of push it down more. You'll hear it. There you go. So it's in. Now the water. Same kind of place as the Keurig. It's on the side. Take it out, fill it up. This side, though, is for your milk. You'll see that the, it says max and minimum. I am going to take my milk and fill it up to the max. And you can also use, oh, I'm splashing it. You can also use soy milk, whatever type of milk, you know, your, that you prefer. Put the lid right on top. I'm sorry if this gets a little shaky. I'm doing this by myself with one hand, so. Alright, so we push this in. And that's how you'll know that it's in. You'll hear it beep. If it's not in, it actually won't start that side, so don't worry. Alright, up here, if I can show this. Um, it says step one, short or large. Step two, cappuccino, latte, or cold froth. You'll see the buttons down here for a smaller, larger cup. And then whenever we do our frost, frothing, um, we'll have a lot of froth, a cold, kind of creamy froth. Is this one? Sorry. And um, this one's for taller glasses. So we're going to do step one. I want a smaller cup. Sorry. I think I need to turn it back on. There we go. <laughs> so we'll come down here and watch. And I picked a short cup, by the way. I'm trying to find the, you know, a glass see-through coffee cup that you, so that it would kind of help a little bit show show you as it's coming out. Okay, so we have our short cup. So I'm gonna pull it out in here. And next is the froth. So I'm gonna push this one, the first one, a cappuccino. my favorite part. I love watching this thing. I'm like, oh, I have a frother in my house. Yay! And by the way, do not double froth it. When it's done frothing, don't press it again. It will overflow everywhere. Don't ask me why I tried. Just don't do it. Once it's done frothing, it's perfectly ready. Now, if you notice, the milk is way above the max fill line now from it spinning and heating it up. And while that is going, I want to show you this also. This will go up, and you can put your larger cup there so it will fit. All right. So now we can remove it. And I don't know how, you know, you like to do yours. I pull this out. And I'm going to set it there. And then I like to pour... Like 
And there you go. There is your espresso. Mine is a lot larger, but <laughs> you can do it however you like. Put this back on. Um, before I put this all away, I do want to show you one of the most fabulous things about this uh, Revo. So, when you pull this back up, I was a little scared. I pulled it up, I looked down in there, and I said, Oh my gosh, I just lost the K cup thing. You know what? Where is my pot at? Oh my gosh. It was my very first time doing it too, and I said, I broke it. So then I thought, well, how do I clean it? I have to pull this out. Well, I pulled this out, and be careful, there's two separate pieces. It's actually a disposal system right down in there. And underneath this actual part, you pull it out, and that is where the liquid will go, all the extra. So it's got a very big reservoir. When you're, after you've emptied it and uh, dumped out all the pieces, you know, you can set it right back in, and that's ready to go again. Pretty nice. I am very, very pleased with it so far. Took it to a couple of neighbors' houses to try it out, and even they were pretty awed by it. Uh, the Cura Grifo is coming out this spring, 2013, and I believe it retails for about $450 maybe a little higher or lesser depending on where you're shopping at. And right now you can only get a couple flavors. Like I said, I have a decaf and a medium roast. And I believe there is one or two other flavors currently, but of course I'm sure Keurig will come out with plenty more. So enjoy your coffee. Bye.